Okay, you go to your Facebook business page using Safari on your iPad. You scroll down your Facebook business page till you find your live video. Say it says was live. You click on the video. It's important you click on it. Don't click those three little dots here. You click on the video, okay? It expands the video. From there, you click on the three little dots. And then it's going to say download video. We click download video, okay? Do you want to download this file? Now remember this name is like 1 million and bunch of numbers. So you go download, okay? It's downloading in the back end. See on the little top right, you see four little icons, a down, downward facing arrow in a blue circle. This is your download button, okay? Click on this download button. And it's going to show your download with a little magnifying tool. So you can go here and it's going to say where it is in your iCloud drive under this folder that is called downloads. Okay. So iCloud drive, you can browse iCloud drive. This is iCloud drive. And then you have a folder that it's called download. Okay, so I have all these files that are under my downloads. I see my video. Remember, we look here, it says 1,000, 1,000 or something, zero number. This is my live video that has been downloaded, okay? If I click done, I can also see it's 45.5 megabyte, which makes sense because I think, oh yeah, this is a pretty big video file, right? Now, how do I get it to iMovie is the question. So this is how you go about it. You click on it and then see that little arrow on the top right. You have three icons on the top right. You click that little upward facing blue arrow in a box. You click that and then it's going to say, what would you like to do with this video? Do you want it to add it to a share album? Do you want to save it to Pinterest? Do you want to add people? And then if you move to the side here, you will see something here that's gonna say more. And then you will see open in iMovie. So let's do this again. You find your downloads file. Where is that? You'll see our cloud location on my iPad or browse. Downloads. From downloads, you find your video. You click on the video you click on this little facing upward facing arrow you have different options okay click this you can see what's open here and you can go here in to airdrop emails all this move into here then you say, is there more options? Okay, more, what could I do with this? Okay, there's Facebook, there's all sorts of stuff going down. Oh, look at this, they're open in iMovie. Click open in iMovie. Select project, create new movie. Because we're creating a new movie. And there it is. Does that make sense? And then when you're done this, you click, you edit it, you click done. And then at the bottom, you will have a little, again, upward facing arrow where you can save your video. Save to files or save your video wherever you want it to be. Is this gonna be easy the first time? No, but you're gonna try and you're gonna work around and see what's possible. You can do this. Last thing I want to show you is if you're looking to just find your video like randomly, like you can go at the bottom left where there's the um, iPhoto icon. Now make sure when you access Facebook at the first place, on the, if you want to download video, always look, use Safari, right? Not an app. But here at the bottom left, you have the photo icon and see in my recent albums, I can see at the bottom these videos. See, they're all here. So recent videos, these are my videos. So when you save them, if you save a photo or a video, it's always gonna end up showing into 
your iMovie and at the bottom you have photos, albums and so on. So you can go for you, albums, search and, and that's it. So that's another way to find your movie. And if you want to get out of here and you're like, oh my God, now I'm stuck. Where's my screen? You press on the home button, like that big button where you go back to your home screen and there you go.